mpenzi mtazamaji na kukaribisha rasmi tena kwenye kipindi hiki chetu cha ulimwengu wa siasa hapa Double Vision TV mtandao wako nambari moja hapa nchini Kenya unakuletea matukio na matokeo ya siasa hapa nchini Kenya leo ningependa tumwangazie mwanasiasa eh, kutoka mlima Kenya ambaye anafahamika kama mudhoni wa, wa mshomba leo ukitembea pale kwenye mtandao wa Twitter utaona maajabu Manake ameweza kuwasha moto mkubwa sana pale kwa kuitemea mate mswada wa Finance Bill 2023 na maneno ambayo ameweza kuyaandika pale ni maneno ya mazito, maneno ya kuogofia na maneno ambayo ni ya kushtua sana e, kama wewe ni, 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 ni mfuasi wa serikali iliyoko mamlakani inayoongozwa na Rais William Samoei Arap Ruto. Kwa hivyo ningependa tu, tu, tuingie pale kwenye mtandao wa Twitter tuweze kuangalia maneno hayo aliyoyaandika pale manake leo leo kageuka akawa muhubiri kadhoni wa mshomba lakini kabla tuingie kwenye mtandao kuangalia ma, uh, maneno hayo aliyoyaandika mheshimiwa Mudhoni ningependa kwanza iwapo unatazama mtandao huu au iwapo una, unatazama channel hii kwa mara yako ya kwanza ningekuomba kwa heshima kubwa uweze kubonyeza alama ya subscribe uweze kusubscribe ukisha subscribe unajishindia nafasi fulani nzuri tu ya kuwa mwanachama wa hii channel na wakati wote tunapotoa matokeo ama tunapotoa matukio na uchanganuzi na uchambuzi wa siasa hapa nchini Kenya utakuwa wa kwanza kuweza kupokea eh, maneno hayo manake utapata ile notification ya kuweza kuonyesha kwamba eh, maneno yameweza kufanyika pale kwa hiyo mpenzi mtazamaji ningependa tuende moja kwa moja hadi kwenye mtandao tuweze kuangalia aliyeandika madhoni mheshimiwa kadhoni wa mshomba ameandika hivi <clears throat> na ameweza kunukuu Biblia. Uh, ameweza kunukuu Biblia eh, wafalme wa kwanza uh, 22 eh, wafalme wa kwanza 22. Ameweza kuandika hivi. King Ahab wanted to fight his enemies in Gilead and capture them. So he called all his 400 advisors and prophets to inquire if he attacked the enemy if there were chances of losing or winning he inquired if he attacked the enemy there will be chances of winning or, or, or losing the 400 of them cheered and affirmed the king to attack with an assurance that they will emerge victorious but one prophet was missing That is Mika, that's prophet Mika. The king hated him because he always prophesied negative outcome against the king. That is first king first king chapter 22 verse 8. So Mika was invited. He told the king, if you go to war with your enemies you will not return. Aski eh? hapo, if you go to war with your enemies you will not return. The 400 advisers, prophets and the king were annoyed. They slapped him and the king ordered his imprisonment without food. The king defied. He went to war. The sword got him and he died. That was the end of his rule. The spirit of prophet sasa eh hapo. Sasa Mheshimiwa Gadoni wa Mshomba ameongeza maneno haya hapo chini tusikize The spirit of prophet of the Lord is alive and you can slap me jail me without food or abuse me but God speak through his people The finance bill 2023 is punitive oppressive and scandalous The ruling class must listen to cries of its citizenry that's democracy <laughs> Penzi mtazamaji. Maneno moto sana hayo. Manake ningependa tuangalie maneno ma, 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 mawili matatu ambaye ameweza kuyazungumzia pale. The Finance Bill 2023 is punitive, oppressive and scandalous. The ruling class must listen to the cries of its citizenry. Penzi mtazamaji. Ningependa kwanza tulichambue hili na hili nukuu ambalo limetoka kwa kwa Biblia. Kwa hivyo eh mheshimiwa Gadoni wa Mshomba 
anajaribu kumlinganisha Rais William Ruto na Nabii Ahab na, 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 na mfalme Ahab kwenye Biblia. Manake mfalme Ahab alikuwa anataka kwenda vi, na, alikuwa anataka kwenda kwa vita na maadui zake. Lakini kwa wakati ule wafalme walikuwa na manabii pamoja na uh, wale wanaitwanga washauri ama advisors ukipenda kwa lugha ya kimombo ambao lazima kwanza washauriane na wao wajaribu kuangalia maneno yapo vipi hapa na pale ili wakiaza wakiazaenda kufanya jambo fulani wao already wamesha pata ushauri kwa hivyo hawa hawa washauri wake na, na manabii nne walikuwa ni wale watu kwa Kiingereza tunasema yes sir people wale mfalme akisema tukate tu, 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 nyumba tuwe hawa watu yes sir tufanye hivi yes sir kwa hivyo gatoni wa mshomba yeye amejilinganisha na na Mika na nabii Mika ambaye alikuwa anasema ukweli na sasa hawa wengine ambaye amewalinganisha kama wale ma, wa, wa, wafuasi wengine eh, ma advisors uh, mianne, ni mfano kama kina Ndidi Nyoro ni Gadiga Shabwa uh, Kimani Ichungwa manake wao kazi yao ni kusema ndio kwa jambo lolote ambalo analisema rais ambaye alioko mamlakani kwa hivyo ningependa kidogo niwarudishe nyuma eh, kwa wakati wa uchaguzi wakati wa uchaguzi mwaka 2022 kuna maneno mengi sana yaliweza kutokea pale manake rais aliyeondoka alikuwa amekabiliwa na kibarua kigumu manake nchi ilikuwa ime tulikuwa tulikuwa katika ile harakati ya kupigana na gonjwa la covid-19 kazi mingi zilikuwa zimepotea na pia kulikuwa na vita pale Ukraine na Russia mahali ambapo serikali nyingi za Afrika zinatoa ngano na na malagasi gesi na vitu zingine mingi lakini Ruto aliweza kusimama upande wa wananchi manake ukitaka kufaulu hapa nchini Kenya kisiasa ni usimame kwa upande wa wananchi kama sasa hivi nataka nikuambie hata kama kuna mbunge yote bungeni sasa hivi ambaye hajafanya jambo lolote la maendeleo kwa watu wake lakini akiweza kupinga ule msuada hataonekana kwamba yeye ndiye amesimama na wananchi na wengine ambao wanaiunga mkono hata kama wamefanya maajabu ya maendeleo kwa kwa wanapowakilisha wananchi wataonekana kwamba hakuna kitu wamefanya hicho hicho ndicho kitu ambacho rais wa sasa William Ruto aliweza kukitumia manake yeye alisema kwamba bei ya chakula kwenda juu bei ya mafuta kwenda juu haikuwa mambo na covid ama mambo na na vita za Ukraine na Russia ilikuwa ni serikali ya handshake ambayo ilikuwa inaongozwa na Uhuru Kenyatta na Raila Odinga ndio ilisababisha maneno hayo lakini sasa yeye mwenyewe ameingia hapo bila ameingia hapo ameweza kuanza kufanya kinyume na vile alikuwa ameahidi wananchi mafuta imepanda zaidi stima imepanda zaidi bei ya chakula imepanda maradufu na kila kitu sasa hivi Kenya kimeweza kuwa kigumu zaidi kuliko vile kilikuwa wakati ule na sasa huyu ndiye analinganishwa na king mfalme Ahab manake sasa hivi hajali mambo ya wananchi anaenda vita na wananchi kwa kuongeza ushuru zaidi ili wananchi waweze kuteseka kwa hivyo gadoni wa mshomba anapozungumza pale akisema kwamba eh, tunataka tuangalie upande wa mwisho pale chini kuna kitu ki, kizuri tu amekiandika pale you can slap me unajua pale kwenye biblia eh, mfalme Ahab na wafuasi wake ama na washauri wake waliweza kums, kum, kumpiga makofi Mika na kumfungia kwenye kumweka kizuizini bila chakula wala maji sasa hivi Gadoni wa mshomba amevaa viatu za eh, za nabii Mika anasema hivi eh, you can slap me jail me without food or abuse me but god speaks through his people the finance bill 2023 is punitive oppressive and scandalous the ruling class must listen to cries of its citizenry that democracy lakini nimejaribu kuangalia pale kwenye mtandao nimeona vita pale manake kuna bado kuna watu kadhaa ambao wanaunga serikali mkono wa serikali ambayo iliyoko mamlaka niweza kusema oh gadoni wa mshomba tunakujua wewe ulikuwa mfuasi sugu wa uhuru kenyata lakini uliweza kuingia UDA wakati uligundua kwamba eh, wimbi la kisiasa ambalo linatanda lina uh, mlima Kenya 
ni wimbi la UDA ati aliweza kuingia pale ili aweza kupita na ambapo amepita amerudi kwa ule mrengo ambaye alikuwa lakini kwa maoni yangu kiniulia sio kweli manake eh, gadoni wa mshomba labda amefanya utafiti wake pale eh, mashinani ameweza kuzungumza na wananchi na ameweza kugundua kwamba hakuna mtu hata mmoja anaounga mkono mswada huu kwa hivyo ningependa mpenzi mtazamaji iwapo unanitazama kwa mara ya kwanza hata kama uko, uko hapa nchini Kenya ma e, pale nje nje ya nchi uweze ku uweze kubonyeza alama ya subscribe uweze kusubscribe na kusubscribe unajiunga na familia kubwa hii na kuweza kufanya e, tutapotoa vipindi kama hivi utakuwa wa kwanza kuweza kutazama na mpenzi mtazamaji pia nakuomba iwapo unatazama comment na uweze ku like video asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki